If you open up the travel section of the New York Times tomorrow, you will see some incredibly up-close images of great white sharks. They were taken off the coast of Mexico by a photographer named Ben Lowy. It is a far departure from where he started his career. This is the window uh, in front of the Baba Z's. Ben Lowy started his career with a rather large lie to an editor. You lied about being able to speak Arabic just to go to a conflict zone. Yeah, the, the photo editor that I met in Paris was like, oh, we really need someone who could speak Arabic and Hebrew. And I was like, I can totally speak Arabic and Hebrew. I, who can't? He spent the next eight years documenting war. In Libya, he was working with photographers Tim Hetherington and Chris Hondros when his pregnant wife was rear-ended in a car accident. If you're in your third trimester and you get in a car accident, you automatically go to the emergency room. And she's like, Ben, you have to come home. So you, you just left have to. And, and I left. I left. Uh, I left. And they went to Misrata, and and you know Tim and Chris were killed. And you know if I was there, if that didn't happen, like I, I would have been there. And um, uh, you know it, it it had a profound effect on me. And I I. Uh, about an hour after Tim's memorial service ended, my wife went into labor. Shortly after the birth of his second child, Lowy returned to Libya. But he says his point of view had changed. He was suffering from PTSD. I think the PTSD that might plague journalists is a little bit different than a soldier in some way. Like when you're a journalist and you're going to a conflict zone, you're waiting for someone to die. You're waiting for something bad to happen. When you come back, you realize, I needed someone to die to make this picture, and the picture that started my career was the death of another human being. That's hard. Uh, yeah, yeah and, and I think there's a lot of a shame, at least for me. And I, I, I tried to figure my way out of that, uh, and uh, I started getting into fighting sports because at the time I, I was really angry, and I didn't know how to deal with it. The images he captured were violent and electrifying. As he healed, his work started to change. Portraits of college athletes right after a fight. Images of wrestlers competing in India. What I've started doing is I go wrestle first uh, before, before I photograph. For all these pictures? Uh, some of them. Some of them. <laughs> I just started really doing this. So you put this. on a loincloth. There are photographs of me in a loincloth photographing. I'm not going to give them to you because once you see me in a loincloth, you can never unsee me. <laughs> His latest project with great white sharks has taken him in a much different direction. The thing about adventure photography uh, is the conflict is with yourself. It's how far you'll push yourself, how far you'll hike or climb or, you know, how far you can push your own limits physically to get certain images. Is there a favorite picture? Do you have favorites? Yeah, I do. I do have the favorite one where you, you see the shark basically coming in to like eat something right over my head, uh, where he's just like ah. For now, Lowy has no interest in photographing war, but he says he'd do it again with a different perspective. If you hadn't have gone through all the conflict photography and been ashamed and been upset with what you were doing, do you think you'd be taking the images that you're taking now? I mean, the PTSD led me down this road where I did different things. I am a product of all the experiences that I had before me, whether good or bad, and they add to you know, who I become and the man that I am. I'm just really glad that all those things happened and that I'm doing these different things now. I mean, he's really photographed some unbelievable things, but he did tell me that when he was shooting those sharks, mm -hmm. they were so close that at one point he just put out his hand and ran it under the belly of a great white shark. I mean, that's pretty unbelievable. I, I tell you, I've, you know, I've worked in war zones. I'd be way more frightened of being <laughs> that close to a great white shark, so. Yeah, really interesting guy.